So I always use that analogy, AFib is like that fluorescent light bulb in the kitchen that starts flickering. The first time you came down the stairs and you saw it flickering, probably wasn't the first time it happened, you just happened to be there. But what happens over time if you don't change a light bulb? The flickering episodes will become more frequent, they'll start lasting longer until you're flickering all the time. Atrial fibrillation is a specific type of electrical short circuit of the heart. You know, your heart is an electrical organ. It only beats because of electricity, and it's supposed to be very steady, very controlled. And imagine suddenly, just like you walk downstairs and you see that light bulb flickering in the kitchen, you suddenly have a short circuit in the upper chamber of the heart called the atrium. And what that does is cause your heart to beat irregularly, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. And when we talk about symptoms, the people who really feel it do feel like their heart is out of rhythm. When you look at the population, we believe about 7 million people in America have atrial fibrillation, and about a third of them are completely unaware that anything is even wrong, and their first symptom is often a stroke. For the other third, uh, they're very symptomatic. They know right away that something is off. They either feel their heart jumping around in their chest, or they feel suddenly short of breath, they feel dizzy, and then you have another third of people that are in between, where they feel something, they can't set their watch to it, but they know something is off. Sometimes it may just be fatigue. It's not completely horrible, but it's not normal. I started having these problems like in my stomach. I felt like something was um, from, from the half part of my stomach, like bubbling, something bubbling like that. So one day I was ready to have a, a um, colonoscopy because doctor wanted to see really what was wrong with my stomach. When the anesthesiologist asked me, have you, have, have you ever had a heart attack? And I said, no. Have anybody told you that you have heart disease? No. So he says, well, do you see the monitor? How is the rhythm of your heart is so irregular? It's no good. I think when I think about my interaction with Nelia, going back 15 years uh, to when she was first diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, and what you realize when you meet her is that she's anxious and she was scared. You know, when you have no history of any heart problems, suddenly someone tells you, you have a heart problem, the first question that comes up in every patient's mind is, am I gonna have a heart attack? And it was my job to first explain to her, look, you're gonna be okay. Whatever you have is you're gonna be okay. And by the way, AFib is not a plumbing problem. It's not a blockage, it's not a heart attack, but it's an electrical short circuit of the heart. There's basically two concepts when it comes to treating AFib. One is protect you from any potential danger of AFib, and that really is the danger of having a blood clot and a stroke, so that's number one. And number two is, if you don't feel good, can we make you feel better? That's it. Every step that we did, you know, with medications, of course, helped me to get rid of this feeling. And then after Dr. Doshi uh, put my uh, watchman, quality of my life felt much better, much better. For those patients who are struggling taking blood thinners, being able to do a procedure uh, uh, such as the watchman, for example, where we can plug up the area where the blood clots come from and patients are able to come off the blood thinners. I'll tell you, the quality of life improvement for those patients who are so stressed, who can't afford it or miss their medications or falling all the time, to then have protection from the risk of stroke has been incredibly impressive. So I'm just thankful every day that I chose the field of electricity and not the field of plumbing. Many, many thanks with all my heart to Dr. Doshi that he has been so good to me, taking care of me in every way. Perhaps this, the way I, f I live my life is thanks to the, to the watchman. I try to live an, a, a, a nice, normal life.